Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So today I'm working in my junk journal that I created for the new year, new menu um, process. And I just wanted you guys to journal along with me because uh, what else are we going to do today? <laughs> um, it's a little different. I know I normally don't have food items on my desk for junk journaling, but because I created this uh, this little journal right here. I wanted to um, take you along for the process through, you know, on the ride for me to um, to just create some um, balanced meals, some healthier meals throughout the year. But today I am going to do one that is um, quick and easy. It only has six ingredients, so we really can't go wrong with this. And I'm calling this a six a six piece chicken pot pie. Okay, so I'm just going to write that directly on here. Six piece chicken pot pie. This is so weird for me to actually have you guys, did I see? yeah, <laughs> see my handwriting. I normally don't write in my journals on camera for you guys. And it's just, it's such a different experience. So hang on let me move some stuff by my foot all right so to begin with we're making a chicken pot pie with only six ingredients and it's super simple let's just start there first of all what you're going to need are two cans of chicken so i like to use the eight ounce cans which are a little bit bigger than this like a tuna can you know tuna can um, size chicken is probably about Oh, I want to say three or four ounces. We're going to go with the really large chicken um, in a can because it's simple, right? So we're going to do two eight ounce cans of, um, of chicken. So this is like white meat chicken that comes in a can. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys know what I mean. But here I'm just going to put ingredients. And um, first thing you're going to need is two eight ounce cans of chicken and then you're going to need two 10 ounce cans of cream of chicken so this is a well, ten and a half ounce can of Campbell's cream of chicken um, if you get two of these at a good deal then get two but if you can find this really big family size can of cream of chicken it's 22.6 ounces go with this because already you're winning it's twice the amount plus and then some right just a little bit more so we're gonna go with um, I'm gonna put here two 10 ounce cans two 10 ounce or 10.5 ounce cans of uh, cream of chicken Or one, um, all right here, or one 22.6 ounce can of cream of chicken. All right, so it's either or, you don't have to use both. It's two of these or one of these, either or will work out just fine. All right, and then you want to use one bag of frozen mixed vegetables. Now, I'm not a big fan of mixed vegetables. Um, I don't like them when they are <laughs> in a can. I prefer them in, um, in a bag that's frozen. So one, I guess it's about 14 ounces. Um, it's a standard size bag. So let's just put 14 ounce bag of frozen. Whoa mixed veggies and that includes like peas and carrots it may have like um, some string beans in there uh, corn right uh, etc and then you want to take um, one can like a standard 14 ounce can of corn I guess it's like like this this is a 15 and a quarter ounce can of corn just regular sweet whole kernel corn will do um, 
So yeah, one can, one 15 ounce can of corn. I like corn. For some reason, it really serves no purpose. It's, it's, <laughs> it, it doesn't have any nutritional value whatsoever, but for some reason, I really like corn. <laughs> Um, and then you're going to need two cans of the Pillsbury dough biscuits. So I like to use the extra flaky um, or extra uh, buttery or however they label that. But you're going to need one, um, two cans of Pillsbury dough. Extra flaky. Um, biscuits okay and of course one quarter cup of melted butter all right so what you're going to take at this point is a nine inch pyrex dish okay so I drew myself a little nine inch pyrex dish right here you're going to take your all of your ingredients first start with your cream of corn then add in your chicken I'm sorry your cream of chicken then add in your um, your can of chicken and then add all of your vegetables mix them together into this um, this nine inch pyrex dish and then for spices or in or seasoning I use this this is Badia it's a Sazon complete um, um, seasoning it has all kinds of seasonings in here you can also use Mrs. Dash it's a salt free um, seasoning and this one also has no sodium so it has zero everything as you can see that and um, so or very low sodium actually it has 4% or 90, 90 milligrams so it's very low sodium you can use Mrs. Dash which also has no sodium but also has all of the same um, the same seasoning and spices in there and then garlic powder so it's to taste you then use a little bit of garlic powder a little bit of ground black pepper mix that all in with your chicken cream of chicken vegetables and then into this uh, nine inch Pyrex dish. And then you're going to take your um, can of biscuits. You're gonna crack that open and um, remove the biscuits <laughs> out of the packaging. Now I've seen it done two ways. I've seen people roll it out and use the entire roll of um, biscuits. When, you, when they come in a can like that, they're all perforated and you can just break the biscuit out. But if you take the whole thing out of the can, you can then roll the whole um, biscuit sheet out and lay that on top of your nine inch Pyrex dish. I just used the biscuits as themselves so I broke each biscuit out that's why I needed two cans of the Pillsbury dough biscuit but um, after you do that you're gonna take your melted butter use a, a um, paintbrush or a um, like a silicone here I'll show you you can use one of these I use mine for a different reason that's why it's in my craft room but you can use one of these silicone basting brushes and baste your biscuits with your melted butter and then you're going to stick that entire casserole dish into the oven bake it at 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes not even really it's really just until your biscuits get nice and crispy and flaky on top because the majority of your vegetables will cook within that time period and your chickens already cook so really it doesn't take that long so I want to say anywhere between I want to say 20 to 30 minutes is probably um, a good a good baking period um, those biscuits are going to flake up they're going to turn brown golden brown and that's when you want to remove it from the oven let it sit to cool for about five to ten minutes and then you're going to use a spoon and scoop up some of that yummy chicken pot pie place it on a plate and eat it <laughs> I mean it does not get much simpler than that I will now take one of my little um, index cards and write out all of that in instructions um, on there and then probably just tape that right down here 
in my journal or um, glue it in actually because I did say a lot. I think I made it sound better. <laughs> Um, better than it actually is but yeah that will go right here in this corner of my um, junk journal these are my ingredients my instructions to go here here's an image of what it should look like um, <laughs> in your nine inch glass pyrex dish and I'm telling you guys that is so so freaking good and there's no like preservatives there's no like you know anything that made it last like when you buy the frozen chicken pot pie in a, in a package. This is just a simple, simple recipe that anybody can basically do and enjoy. All right, guys, this is a quick little video. I just wanted to share with you guys my process for a new menu for the new year. And um, yeah, stay naturally curious. Go do something crafty or healthy or fun. Just go do stuff. And let me know all about it. I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Check out my links down below. Hit the bell for notifications after you've subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to give these videos a big fat thumbs up. I do appreciate each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel and liking the videos. And I'll definitely talk to y'all in the next one. Bye.